Hello everyone, this is an issue and in this video I will be creating an IFTTT trigger and send an email to myself when the sensor data is recorded. Now let us understand what are webhooks. Imagine you have two apps, app A and app B. These apps can communicate with each other using an event driven mechanism called webhooks. A webhook is essentially a way for one application to send real time data to another application over the web. It is like an instant notification that something has happened. So how do webhooks work? Let's say app A generates an event. App A then sends an HTTP POST request, a webhook, to a predefined URL in app B. App B then receives the webhook and processes the data. So webhooks act as messengers between different apps, allowing them to share information without manual intervention. Now let's move on to IFTTT and see how it takes this concept to a whole new level. Now what is IFTTT? IFTTT or if this then that is a popular automation platform that lets you create connections between various online services, apps and devices. These connections are called applets and are built using triggers and actions. Now I will show you the process of how to make a new applet in IFTTT. First of all sign in to the IFTTT website. You can use a free subscription. After that you press the create button as shown. Then you will have the applet page. In that in if this tab create a webhook by searching the webhook. After that you have to click receive web request. In the receive web request form just give an event name. For example I have given light change as you can see then press on create trigger. After creating the trigger in the then that part go and search for gmail if you want to receive the gmail. There are many other options you can select. Then I have selected send myself an email. After that I have pressed connect. After pressing connect it will take us to a new page where we will see the data fields that we have inserted. In this page we do not need to change anything and simply press creating action. After that we have to press continue and finally we can press the finish button to create the complete applet. After we finish creating the applet an entirely new page will be shown. There are various options here. Uh, we can also change the settings of our applet by going to the settings. Uh, here we can change everything that we want including the if this then statements too. After that we can click the webhook link and uh, click on documentation to check uh, the URL that will be needed uh, in our code to send the email. We can also perform a test here uh, by simply giving the event name and pressing the tested button. The event has been triggered it is showing then we can go and check uh, our email. We, uh, we can see that uh, we have received a test email. Finally, it is time for the code explanation. Our code starts by including the necessary libraries. We use the Wi-Fi NILA library for Wi-Fi connectivity, the wire library for I2C communication and the BH1750 library for the light sensor. We initialize the Wi-Fi connection with the network credentials. This allows the Arduino to connect to the internet to send the data to IFTTT. Next, we initialize the BH1750 light sensor and set up the communication with it over the I2C bus. This sensor measures the ambient light intensity. The heart of our code is the main loop. In this loop, we will continuously read the light intensity using the light meter read light level function. What happens here is, depending on the light intensity, we trigger different actions. If the light intensity is very bright, that is lux greater than 1000, we send a message to IFTTT indicating that it is bright. If it is modulatory bright, then uh, we send no data. Similarly, if it is a bit dim, we send no data. Again, if it is too dark, then we send a message to IFTTT indicating that it is too dark. Next, to send the data to IFTTT, we, uh, we have created a custom function named send data to IFTTT. This function checks if the Arduino is connected to Wi-Fi and the server. If the conditions are met, it sends HTTP GET request to IFTTT webhook with specific data. During testing, we need to make sure that our Wi-Fi is working and the sensor is connected correctly uh, and the IFTTT webhook is set up properly. Finally, it is time for the demo. Coming to the circuit diagram for the light intensity sensor, as you can see here in this diagram, I have connected the BH1750 sensor to the Arduino Nano 33 IoT using the SCL and SDA pins and given the power to the BH1750 sensor through the Arduino through the ground and the VCC pins.